some news coming in from the state of Karnataka, where the newly sworn in Karnataka Chief Minister Sudaramaya has jumped into action and launched an investigation into the alleg uh, al alleged corruption in the Kalyan Karnataka Region Development Board during the tenure of the previous BJP government. After the new RDPR minister, Priyank Kharge wrote to the chief minister alleging corruption. Sudaramaya ordered the investigation and sought a report within 15 days. Kharge had alleged that a scam to the tune of 4,000 to 5,000 crores took place. In face of such strong allegations, former Karnataka chief minister Basavraj Bommai is in an exclusive conversation to mirror now, welcome the inquiry and pleaded that the progress of Kalyan Karnataka shouldn't stop. Let them do any inquiry in any department. It's most welcome. Now, as far as Kalyan Karnataka is concerned, we have just sanctioned 3,000 crores. And I don't think all 3,000 crores has been spent or neither it is billed. Let them do that inquiry also, whatever inquiry. But my only one concern is they should not do witch hunting. They should not stop the progress of Kalyan Karnataka. Congress was giving 1,000, 1,500. I increased to 3,000 crores so that Kalyan Karnataka infrastructure, basic needs of the people, education, health, sanitary, everything, and uh, malnutrition, these are the huge concerns uh, which we dealt with. I don't want these human development and uh, public infrastructure work should not be stopped. That is number one. Number two, there should not be witch hunting. Number three, there should not be any reallocation, which the allocations we have made for particular uh, sector and particular taluka. Hmm. Uh, corruption charges were these basically in in what context? So there are uh, various things. Mm -hmm. I mean, without uh, getting uh, due permission, mm -hmm. they have uh, uh, spent money mm -hmm. that is uh, meant for development. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They have spent it on something like your uh, serves. Mm -hmm. They have <coughs> they have illegally. Uh, without environment clearances, they have uh, taken over lakes and built bunds mm -hmm. for statues. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, I mean, there's a lot of corruption in the corona procurement. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's been happening past three years, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, they have formed a um, association for you for development of human resources, right. uh, which is uh, not under the purview of. Uh, the mandate of 371J mm -hmm. and they've given 300, 400 crores to that association mm -hmm. and they have given out, uh, what do you say, uh, 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 people who have, uh, uh, they've given out, uh, uh, what do you say, doles to pay the families who have uh, suffered from corona mm -hmm. in private schools. Oh, okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. a lot of things. I mean, it's just not one. Mm -hmm. There's, there's mm -hmm. a lot of things that's happened over a period of three years. Okay, and this would be, sir, to the tune of roughly, uh, if you can uh, take it. Last I'm... year was, uh, so, so uh, approximately we are asking for an inquiry of more than close to around 4,500 or 5,000 crores. Not only Kalyan Karnataka, there are various numbers of departments which we know. I don't want to comment on that. But you will order inquiries and you will make sure that things see, can't come I, up. See, I, see, we have to give justice. We have to give justice to the people of Karnataka. That is very much important. People have relayed on us. We have to do our job. Otherwise, we can't fulfill this guarantee.